I'm Anastasia, and this is something that helped me. I know every story is different, but I hope that in this you can find something to help you as well. Best of luck. Thinking about all of the things that you can do to calm yourself and soothe yourself and take care of yourself during stressful situations in anywhere really, at home, in the hospital, wherever you are. My number five is choose your favorite hand lotion and put it on giving yourself a tiny little hand massage and just taking a minute, like half a minute, like five seconds, <laughs> to just put the lotion on your hands, massage it in, and smell the nice scent and just enjoy that minute. Enjoy the smooth, relaxing feeling of the lotion. Enjoy the scent. I'm not a big manicure person. Well, I'm not like a manicure person at all. <laughs> you can tell I shouldn't have showed you those. They're ugly. Anyway, just the lotion is good to me, period in a story. But I know a lot of people really enjoy a manicure. So if you're at home and you enjoy playing with your nails, just go all out with a home manicure. Remove your nail polish, clip, file, buff your nails, trim your nails, soak them in some warm water for a few minutes, apply some cuticle oil, rub it in, take a few minutes to push back your little cuticles and trim them down. Use a sugar scrub or some kind of exfoliating scrub to give your hands just a nice, gentle manicure. And then rinse them off and with a nice soft towel. Um, an idea here, <laughs> I don't know about you, I really like really, really soft things. And so a long time ago, I stopped buying real washcloths and I only buy baby washcloths because I love the feel of that super fine, soft baby washcloth. So you, whatever you have, just dry your hands with a nice soft towel. And I would just finish by just moisturizing my hands with my favorite lotion. But if you like it, you can paint your nails now. And I always think it's nice to pick a color that you think is beautiful. So often when we're making fashion choices, we're thinking of what everybody else will like or what's in style or what is your boyfriend's favorite, whatever it is. But my suggestion is pick a color that you think is beautiful because it's so worry easy to worry what other people think. But the truth is you matter and it matters what you think. And when you feel beautiful, others will always see that extra sparkle in your smile and be fine with whatever color you choose. So for today, just pick a color that you enjoy. Also, as a side note, a manicure can feel good to many people, young and old, male and female. I've seen a nice home manicure really brighten the eyes of many different types of people in the hospital. Men, women, old, young, everything, all in between. A lot of people that you really would not think have cared, gruff old farmer men, <laughs> really appreciate some time and soaking and warm. You know, it's probably the feeling, the touch of massage that is so, so enjoyable, just feeling loved and cared for. But anyway, if you are taking care of someone in the hospital, you might be surprised to find out that this person enjoys a little manicure much more than you ever would have anticipated. So ask them if they'd like it. I mean, what's What's risked? If they don't want a manicure, don't give them one. But for yourself, if you're trying to calm and soothe and comfort yourself, I would recommend this. Just take some time and and give yourself a manicure. So you don't have to share here, but in your journal or in your notes, wherever you want to put it, what is your favorite hand lotion? Do you like the feeling of putting lotion on? Do you enjoy clipping and filing your nails? Do you enjoy painting your nails? If so, what color? And then here in the comments, have you ever actually noticed a difference when you gave yourself a manicure or you saw somebody else get a manicure? Has it ever actually made you feel better or you see that it has helped somebody else feel better? I have definitely seen that in myself and in other people. And I'd love to hear your stories if you have a cool story about somebody in the hospital or whatever getting a manicure and then feeling better or feeling appreciated and loved or whatever. I'd love to hear your stories in the comments. It used to really bother me. Every single person would say, I don't know how you do it. And for me, I realized the answer is one day at a time, sometimes one minute at a time. People would say, 
I could never do that. Yes, yes, you could, and you will. The journey is long and bumpy, but keep taking those tiny steps, and you can do this, I promise. Whatever is standing in front of you today, you can get through it.